hi beautiful people welcome back to mrs ray food channel in today's recipe i'm going to show you how to make a very authentic and tasty soft chicken stew so if you are interested let's get right into it for this recipe i'll be using onions i have got red chilies some ginger some fresh garlic I have also got some water on the side that I'm going to use to blend it. I've got some chicken seasoning, some dried rosemary, a shant all-purpose seasoning and table salt. So I'm going to blend all this and then I'm going to put my chicken in my pot. I've already washed it and then I'm going to pour in the pepper mixture. Then I am going to stir it next i am going to cover it and let it simmer on a medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes and this is how it looks like now so i'm just giving it a stir and then i'm going to cover it again until it is thoroughly cooked hey guys this is the chicken now and it is ready so now i'm just going to take it out of the stock because I'm going to use the stock as well but later on in the recipe next I am going to heat up some oil and then add in one tablespoon of tandoori curry but you can also use the regular yellow one if that's what you have next I am going to deep fry the chicken and I am also going to Turn them over to make sure it cooks perfectly and then take it out of the oil. So now I'm going to add in some diced red onions. Then I'm going to give it a stir and leave it to fry until it becomes translucent. So let's say between three to five minutes. Next, I am going to blend some onion, ginger, garlic, scot bonnet with the chicken stock and i have also got my fried chicken on the side here it looks perfect by the way so now that i have blended everything i'm going to pour it into the pot then stir it and leave it to fry for about seven to ten minutes on a medium heat to low next i'm going to add some tomato puree or tomato paste and I'm using two so now I'm going to add it in by the way if you want to use just one tube of tomato paste please go ahead and use it but this is my recipe so add it in stir it and leave it to fry for about 10 minutes on a medium heat to low so guys this is how it looks like now and I am also going to add some plum tomatoes that I have blended. You can also use chopped tomatoes or unless you want to use the fresh ones, please do as you please. Now stir it and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes. And then you see that the oil will settle on top just as you see here. And this is the right moment to add in your seasoning. So I'm going to use Onga Stew Seasoning. If you haven't used it before, please do because it tastes amazing. Or else use any seasoning that you like or prefer. Then I'm going to add my Asian All-Purpose Seasoning. I'm stressing on the Asian because they have wonderful spices. And then I'm going to add some salt to taste. Last but not least, I'm going to add some chicken seasoning cubes. And if you don't like it, please do not use it. And then I'm going to stir it. And by the way, if you look on the left hand side, you see that I have some boiled fried eggs. I'm going to add it to my stew as well, but this is totally optional. So now I am also going to add one more tablespoon of tandoori curry, which is the red one. And then I'm going to give it a stir. Now I am going to add in my fried chicken and my fried boiled eggs. Next, I'm going to stir it gently. 
and then I'm going to cover it again but not entirely and leave it to cook for about 7 to 12 minutes or until the oil settles on top just as you see here the stew looks amazing guys so now I'm still going to give it a little stir and then show you a nice close-up look at this beauty so now last but not least I am going to add in some spring onions but this is totally optional you can also use leeks this is what I use sometimes but feel free to add it or not then stir it leave it on for another two minutes on the lowest heat possible uncovered and your stew is ready guys look at this perfect authentic Ghanaian chicken stew I promise you you are going to love it and you will always make it this is the end of the recipe thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already turn your notifications bell on and I'll see you next time bye